Ah. Uh, hey guys, it's a beautiful time. Guess where I am? I just arrived today in a place called Kisi. I just left Bomet County not long ago. And right now I'm in Kisi County, a very beautiful place in Kenya. And uh, I was having an argument with a friend of mine and he was telling me that Keith, traveling alone is not always the best kind of idea. And uh, another one was telling me, uh, traveling alone is always the best kind of an idea. So today I just want to dissect this whole mess of a topic because many people believe that you should be traveling alone. Others are saying that you should be traveling with a team or friends of yours, or maybe, I don't know, your spouse and all that. But let me just make this clear once and for all. We are going to be speaking about why you need to travel alone, all right? So before that, kindly if you have not been able to subscribe to this channel, hit that um, notification button, subscribe as well, because I don't want you to miss any video. This is going to be much, much, much bigger than you ever anticipated. So let's just go straight to exactly what I'm talking about. Number one, efficiency. When you're traveling alone, you're more efficient than when you're traveling with other people. How efficient are you? So um, you only pack what you need. You pack your personal belongings, you pack your personal effects, your own things that you will be using alone. Contrary to when you're traveling with friends or relatives or uh, whoever you may want to travel, travel buddy or things like that, because you may have to share a lot of things. You may have to pack this, maybe you, you, you pack some things that you use in unison and all those kind of things. So, but when you're traveling alone, you're only using what you're carrying exactly what you alone are going to use. And um, another thing, you're also efficient because anytime you're free, like for me, myself, whenever I'm free and I'm traveling alone, my free time I use it to maybe read emails, to get on social media, to watch some movies, to do things that really interest me personally because different people have different expectations in every travel. Somebody will be telling you, let's go out, let's go to this place, let's go and climb a mountain. Maybe that's not, not my fun. I'm more effective checking my emails later after going to the park or maybe after going for a swimming pool or after going to wherever I was doing for the day and uh, as well the trip goes as planned it will always go as planned if you plan from home this the interest and the things that really interest me and this is what I'll be doing it goes exactly like that so efficiency is always there when you're traveling alone point number two is expense expense is a key factor when you're traveling so why is it a key factor when you're going alone you have only expense for one person but how does it happen when you're going with your spouse or your friends or relatives or whoever you may want to go with expense is very high why guys will always suggest things that maybe might not be of your interest but they eat of their own interest some locations some things to do which will cost you money but you're really not interested in such kind of things. So if you're alone, the expense is going to be only on what you love alone. It's going to be exactly on what you love, what you adore and things like that. And you can go to where you want, you can sleep where you want. Uh, the other guys will suggest, I can sleep here, I can go here, I wanna go to this place, I don't wanna go here, I saw this one in a magazine, I want to be there. Just corrupting your whole expense. But when you're alone, what happens? You go to exactly where you want, where you want to sleep, where you want to eat, what you want to do. So your expense is yours. You're just you and you alone. Point number three is the perfect plans. No suggestion. What you want is what you get. When I talk about no suggestion is people keep on suggesting to you, this is uh, the better idea than this other one. This is the better idea. Instead of us going to Kisi, let's go to Kisumu. Let's go to Tanzania instead of Uganda. Let's go to uh, this country instead of there. Let's go do this instead of that. So when you're alone, what you think is what you get. Whatever you wanna uh, achieve is exactly what you will achieve. There are no other major suggestions here and there, especially from people who you've come with. People who you meet, 
when you're traveling that's another total different idea and of course i'll be speaking it down there but the people who you've traveled together with they always want to feel as if they own you in some way if you don't do a certain thing and follow them in a certain way they think as if oh you're not going the right way or we are not listening to each other you know it's like we're arguing because the things like they own you because we came together but when you're traveling alone no perfect plans you follow your heart point number four you're open to adventure open to adventure now this is where the point that i just spoke about comes in open to adventure is you can go to a place you hang out with some friends you are alone and people suggest hey guys can you come to my place for a house party can you come uh, let's go uh, tomorrow we're having a um, climbing a mountain can you join us when you're alone you're flexible there's nobody to tell you no let's not go there let's not do this you're flexible it's you and you alone you can adjust to whichever way and still remember something when you're alone people are able to call you in their short-term plans but when you're as a group whoever wants to call you will always think oh this person they are two they are three how am i going to accommodate them how am i going to do but if you're alone they can basically tell you hey you take the couch you take this let go uh, there's one space in my in in my car you see those kind of things so you're open to adventure you can be able to do anything so there's space for whatever you want to do at any time and there is no space for mediocre friends when i talk about mediocre friends i mean guys who always bring up issues issues we go here we've been invited here you don't want to go we have, we have this idea you don't want to do or maybe all those mediocre friends you kick them out when you're traveling alone and the final point is you understand your true self have you ever known you have a true self people think that their true self is what your friends tell you no but you'll understand it exactly when you're alone that's the time you'll understand if you're hot tempered that's the time you'll understand if you can sustain yourself that's the time you'll understand you're addicted to social media that's the time you'll understand you love this you don't love this some music <laughs> i always laughed so many times um with my friends i've always um pretended how much i loved uh, maybe a certain kind of music Let, let's say for example reggae music because my friends listen to reggae and we're always listening together and i pretend oh jar rastafari and all those kind of things yeah? pretending so much that i love reggae but whenever i am alone in my true self that's not what i listen i actually listen to other kinds of music i listen to edm i listen to phil collins i listen to some very crazy music that people will be asking me keith is this your kind of music you know so you understand your true self when you are alone that's the time you can say i love this i don't love this people have to follow my way because the same same way i always follow their way let them follow my way so i hope today you've been able to understand why you need to travel alone so that you can be able to gain this it's not bad to travel with friends but once in a while take time alone go here go there understand yourself have a cool time with your own self and i'm sure you're going to learn much more than you could ever think thank you very much if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and hit that notification button because there's much 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 more videos coming up and you will be learning much more especially right now that i'm in a new place called kisi town and i don't know how long i'll be here so keep it locked Stay tuned.